Well, more than 100 Hoosier families have been displaced by flood damage. Officials say the worst of the damage is right here in central Indiana. Tipton is one of the places where people spent the day cleaning up and dealing with many losses. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet has that story. When you step on the carpet, you can see it is soaked with water. This is one of many homes in the Tipton area damaged from flooding. And people that we spoke to say they're most heartbroken about the things they can't replace. Saturday afternoon, water recedes far enough for Jennifer and Gary Hunter to confirm their fears. Everything on the first floor is more than likely going to be a total loss. Dozens of their Tipton neighbors are also dealing with damage and loss. Nearby, Cicero Creek is swollen with rainwater. The spill-off has destroyed cars, trucks, damaged structures, and soaked irreplaceable keepsakes. The radio. Great-grandma's. Friday, as three to five inches of rain fell in parts of central Indiana, some people in this neighborhood left when they saw the drainage system wasn't keeping up. About 10.30, he said we need to go out. So... We waited out in chest deep water. By 11 a.m. on Friday, the water rose so high that some people had to be rescued by boats and even tractors. You can see the imprint left behind by the machinery. Once I got out of bed and stepped on the floor, there was already water in the house. And by the time we started picking up things, the water was already six, eight inches inside the house. The hunters say, unlike many of their neighbors, their renter's insurance will not cover any of their losses. It's our biggest struggle right now is everything we, we have, we own, and we've worked hard for it, and we're losing everything. After a day of cleaning and speaking with insurance providers, some homeowners tell us they've been told it could be months before they can return back home. Reporting in Tipton, Ebony Monet, RTV6. Uninsured loss is typically a qualifier for disaster relief. Friday's rainfall broke records in Indianapolis and in Fort Wayne.